Mr. Mayor, do political parties matter to New York City voters, do you think? So? Fundamentally, they, uh, New York City uh, is, I don't know how much different it is than the rest of the country. I've never really studied the rest of the country that carefully. But New York City tends to be a very nonpartisan town. Uh, we remember the last four mayoral elections in a city that there are an awful lot more Democrats than Republicans. Uh, they've elected somebody running on the Republican line. Uh, I don't know that there's been a lot of difference. If Rudy Giuliani, when he was mayor, if you remember, supported uh, Andrew Cuomo's father, Mario Cuomo, for governor uh, when he ran against the Republican George Pataki. Uh, I've supported candidates both on the Republican and Democratic side. I'll support anybody that does that works hard for this city and I think has the potential to do a good job. And I've always been in favor of having two parties uh, so that there is uh, a healthy dialogue and everybody gets representation. Uh, but uh, it, the number of people in New York City who are uh, non, uh, who are registered to vote but not affiliated with a party, uh, I don't know whether it's bigger than the rest of the country, but it is certainly very significant. And that is more and more a trend in, uh, in the whole country, I think, but certainly in our city to uh, register to vote and to exercise your franchise, but to not be a member of a party. So they still provide a function, uh, parties, but uh, the answer to your question is I think they are less important to most people than uh, they were in the past. Uh, thank you.